we have been uh, hit by this quadruple whammy. If you, and I say again that if you take out the fiscal impact of this quadruple whammy, Ghana will not be going to the IMF for support because our fiscal and debt and balance of payments outlook would be sustainable. Of the four factors, COVID-19 and the Russia-Ukraine war were external, and the other two, the banking sector cleanup and the excess capacity payments, were the result of policies of the previous government. Today, all over the world, fuel prices are rising in virtually every country. Food prices are rising, inflation is high, it's at a high for many years, currencies are falling in value, fiscal deficits are rising, debt levels are increasing. This is happening globally. And this tells us that what we are dealing with is a global phenomenon. Let me give you an analogy to make my point. If you ask a carpenter to roof your house, and he roofs this house, and suddenly the roof collapses, without any rainfall or wind, suddenly you have a collapsing of the roof. Will you not blame the carpenter who did the roofing? Will you not blame the carpenter? But if the carpenter roofs your house and the roof collapses because there's a tornado and a storm which has blown away roofs and windows and walls of many houses, will you blame the carpenter? Will you blame the carpenter? So, let us understand the context. <laughs>